Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be looking at the color fastness of three separate paint companies, but all the same color. So the companies are Liquitex Basics, uh, Windsor Newton, and Golden. So in other videos I've talked about how buying cheaper paint can often lead to less color fastness um, and vibrancy as opposed to buying higher grade or higher quality paints. Now, different brands have different qualities. So some have, you know, student grade and then general grade and then kind of professional grade. But then also some are just kind of off the off the bat a little bit better than others. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at three, three brands. Uh, they're all cerulean blue. So I got the same color in all three brands and we're going to be testing them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting them on a piece of paper and I'm going to kind of put some of that paint out the same amount of each one roughly and we're going to kind of spread it out and take a good look at the colors before and after they dry because the thing is is that if you use sometimes cheaper paints then they have less color fastness. Now you can use whatever paint you really want to. It's, it's totally your preference and kind of depending on what you're going for. Uh, but if you tend to use lower cost paints, they have less vibrancy. So they might look great when they're in the tube, but once they dry, uh, they're not as vibrant and they kind of look more like plastic and they're a little more dull. So we're going to test that today. So we're going to head over to the paper. We're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to label each paint on the paper, and then we're going to go ahead and put some on there and look at it before and after. So let's head over to the table and we'll do that now. So the order that you see them in is the order that we're going to be working on them. So we're going to go ahead and write out uh, which is which. So we're going to go ahead and just put our color here, cerulean blue. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and label this one Liquitex. And then this one will be Windsor Newton. So we'll just put W and N. And then this one will be Golden. Now, before we actually put the paint on there, I want to talk about something real quick. So comparatively, based on price alone, um, Liquitex was the cheapest. So this was roughly like five or six dollars. Um, this was like 10 or just over 10 so like maybe 12 or something I believe um, and then this was actually like $17 so just in the brand alone you can kind of get an idea of the quality of the paints just strictly on the price and the size so seeing as how you 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 know you're gonna get four ounces out of this for you know five six dollars and then you're gonna get six ounces for that and it's almost double the price um, and then you're gonna get really the least amount for the most again you can kind of tell the quality so we've got our labels here we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, Liquitex so here we are we're gonna go ahead and put some on here I'll just kind of put like a little a little blob here and I'm gonna go ahead and compare them. So what I'll do is, since I, I don't have a good setup over here, I'll put them each on there. We'll do a kind of close-up comparison real quick. I'll pull the paint out, so I'll thin it out, stretch it out, and then we'll compare it again, and then we'll compare it once it dries. So now we'll put some of the Windsor Newton on there. And already you can see kind of some variation in that, uh, the coloration of the paint. And then lastly, we'll put our golden on here. Okay, so interestingly enough, just looking at the paints, I'm gonna take you guys over here so you can so you can see this for yourself. Already, you can see kind of some variation. This is actually, I believe, the darkest of the three. So this was the cheaper one. This one's a little bit lighter, and this one is kind of dark as well. So. You can't really see it too well in here, um, but it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back and then we're gonna scrape it out and we'll see if we can kind of see a little bit of a difference. So I'm gonna pull this one out.
All right. And then we'll go ahead and just kind of clean it off. And then we'll pull this one out. Wipe that off. And then we'll pull this one out. Already you can kind of tell that the golden is actually a little thicker than the other two. So, uh, once again, let me kind of show you guys what we're working with. Now I'll go ahead and zoom out. So these are our three. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of it real quick. So, now just looking at them, I mean, when they're wet, you wouldn't really be able to tell maybe which is which. Um, because again, when they're wet, it looks nice, right? Um, but again, once it dries, that'll kind of be the real test here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a heat gun and heat it up and then we'll kind of compare the qualities afterwards. Okay, so now that we've got, uh, I've got these paint dried, what we're gonna do, I think the only kind of fair thing to do to see if, if they look the same is to put a little bit more paint on there and compare the color of the, the dry one to the color of the wet paint. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit more on there. Okay, so now we can kind of compare the quality of the paints. Okay, so you can see that now that they're dry, they kind of have this, you know, plasticky look. Let me zoom out for you guys. There we go. All right, they all kind of have the same plasticky look. I'm actually gonna take my glove off to kind of feel the difference. All right, so Yep, it definitely feels like plastic there. Now this actually is a little bit softer. Um, it's, it still does kind of feel like plastic, but if you look at the, the light reflection on this one, so looking at the light reflection right there, you can kind of see how smooth it is across. Here, you can kind of see a bunch of waves in it, and I think that's like the, the plastic kind of pulling through. So there's like these little waves going through. And then when you come to this one, they're, they're more subtle. All right. And then moving on to the golden, we still have kind of those waves in the pigment. Uh, you can tell it, it was a little bit thicker because it was kind of uh, chunking right here. Uh, but again, this one is actually really smooth compared to these other two, which kind of feel like plastic. So that uh, that's kind of nice. All right. So looking at the colors, um, I feel like they, they're they all kind of pretty accurate uh, concerning the final color to the other color, which kind of surprises me. I thought that the Liquitex actually wouldn't look as close to the finished thing as it did on there um, because I've used Liquitex before. I've never really used Winsor Newton or Golden just because of the prices. Um, and to be honest with you, it actually is holding up to the color that it initially was uh overall looking kind of at the light let's actually tilt this up and kind of look at the the shine of the paint so they actually all hold the shine pretty well to be honest i feel like the windsor newton paint actually has kind of the nicest overall look because if you look at the light kind of the reflection on the light it's very smooth, uh, very soft. If you look on this one, it's actually a little bit more dull. So I don't know if the dullness indicates uh, a higher quality per se, 
uh, it could be more pigment and less plastic. So I'm not 100% sure on that relation. Because again, I haven't used these to compare. But looking at the uh, Liquitex, it's actually pretty dull towards the end on the light there. So just going across, you can see that the Windsor Newton, like I said, kind of has the softest uh, overall texture. And this one is the smoothest. And then this one does feel more like plastic than the other two. Um, so what do we kind of gather out of this? Ultimately, I would say the Windsor Newton, to me, actually had the kind of the best overall quality test. Look, a lot of it comes down to preference, okay? So if you use higher quality materials, you can command higher quality, or sorry, higher quality prices. You can command higher prices. So a lot of it comes down to the materials that you use. If you use expensive materials, you can charge more for that same art. But if you're making that art at home, then and it's just for you or it's just for other people or you just enjoy making art but you're not trying to sell for a lot of money, then you can use something that's a little more value-based. I mean, to be honest with you, you know, you if you were doing this professionally full time all the time, yeah, I'd probably say go with head, go ahead and go with Golden or at least the Windsor Newton, and maybe kind of stay away from the Liquitex. But again, if you're doing this, you know, if you don't sell the pieces for very much, you know, you're you're just kind of selling them as uh, value valuable pieces. Um, affordable is the, is the word I was looking for. If you're selling them affordably, then go with one of these two. Ultimately, that's what I would say in kind of which, choosing which paint to buy. It's the overall purpose of the piece. So if you if you make paintings to sell exclusively and you kind of do that professionally, you probably want to use more professional paints because they're going to hold up better. But honestly, the Liquitex compared to the other ones, I'm not. I'm kind of surprised on how well it looks. Now there could be some other aspect to this that I'm not looking at. Again, I've never compared these three. Um, you can kind of see that looking at the Liquitex, it does look a little more like plastic. So, you know, you can kind of tell that looking at it. However, I know a lot of people that use it and then they put, you know, kind of gloss mediums or something over it and it makes it look better. Um, it also depends on how you're using it. So if you're, you know, using it to dilute it, like I said, if you dilute uh, cheaper paints, they do have a tendency to kind of break apart because of the binders. So overall it's kind of your choice and kind of what you're doing with it would determine that to be honest with you i'm really happy with the windsor newton paint overall i think for the price it's a, probably the it's probably the best paint for the price is is the best value i would say so liquitex would be cheaper you can get more paint uh for less golden obviously you're expending a lot more for less um for less paint. So you're spending more money to get less paint. Liquitex, you're spending less money to get more paint. Windsor Newton's kind of in the middle and I'm actually really happy with the Windsor Newton uh, as far as the quality for, you know, if I was selling each one of the paintings that I was trying to uh, make, but I wasn't, you know, using super high end, you know, materials because I couldn't afford that all the time. That's probably what I would go with. Uh, but ultimately, it's your call, how you want to do it, and, and what you use is up to you. This was kind of a, just a kind of a test to see how they held up with color and the quality. And I think they all did really well. Liquitex surprisingly did better than I thought. And the, the Golden actually holds up, you know, really well. But for the price, if you're not doing this full time, I just can't see, you know, sinking $20 into a two ounce bottle every single time not doing it full time, but that's just me. So anyways, guys, I hope you found something useful out of this video. It uh, kind of surprised me because I was kind of surprised how well the Windsor Newton and the Liquitex looked in the end. They've, you know, the Liquitex, you get what you pay for. I think it holds up well for the price. Windsor Newton, I actually really like. And the Golden, I feel like it it's really good, but for the price, I just can't justify it. You know, if I wasn't, if I if I couldn't sell those paintings over and over again. So that's just me. Anyways, guys, I will uh, see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye guys. 
Okay, so I gave it some time uh, overnight to dry to kind of see. So now we kind of get a little bit of a different picture. If you look at the Liquitex on the left, you can see I have it in front of a light and it's reflecting almost no light. So now that it's fully dry, it actually has almost no reflection. Um, even kind of putting it towards this light over here, you can see the middle and the end ones are reflecting that light. So now it gives us kind of a different story on, you know, how that paint looks when it dries. Uh, now, color wise, I guess I was kind of wrong. Uh, the color is still there. So this does still look like this, you know, this looks like this and all that. But the, the biggest aspect of it is the shine. So you can see that I'm, I'm kind of turning it in front of the light. You can see the reflection on these two. Um, but not the Liquitex. So it is a dullness. Um, it does lose a lot of its uh, luster. So the color is still there. It does look like the color it was initially, uh, but it did lose some of its luster. And the Winter Newton and the Gold still uh, maintain pretty much a high level of the shine that they initially had when they went on. So we can kind of gather from that, like how how nice it'll look as far as uh, the shine that it produces once the painting is done, um, which is fine. Again, it's totally your preference on which one you want to use. Uh, if you use Liquitex, you'd probably want to throw on like a gloss medium or some kind of, uh, you know, whatever that, I forget, the, uh, epoxy or whatever it is. Um, you'd probably have to throw some of that over it if you wanted it to kind of have a shine like these because it loses it. So it's really your call. Um, at that point, you're almost making up the difference in the cost because if you have to buy the paint and the gloss medium to kind of match one of these, then you may as well just go with the higher quality. Although if you're still learning or practicing or you don't know if the, the, the piece is gonna turn out any good, then go ahead and stick with the uh, cheaper paint that way you can create more works and then you can just gloss medium the ones that you actually want to keep or sell so uh, but that's it I'm, I'm, I just wanted to give you that little update I just came out to kind of check on it and uh, you know they still feel about the same they're both you know really soft and honestly looking at just the paint itself if, if I didn't know which one was which uh, I probably think that they're very similar. So anyways, that's it guys, bye.